After leaving Capernaum, Jesus returned to his hometown, Nazareth. Our Lord teaches the people in their synagogue, and they were amazed at his teaching and wisdom. However, their amazement is not coming from admiration, but from suspicion, anger, and envy. They say that where did this man get all this such uh, where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Jesus' former neighbors thought that they knew everything about the Lord because they lived in the same town for a long time. They knew well the family and relative of Jesus. They knew that Jesus came from a simple carpenter's family. Then they asked themselves, where did Jesus get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Instead of, instead of being grateful for the gifts and increasing fame that Jesus had, the former neighbors were upset. The scripture says that they took offense at Jesus. Instead of being thankful and joyful for great wisdom that Jesus showed, they were distressed and envious. St. Thomas Aquinas defines envy as sorrow for another's good. Envy is sorrow for another's good. In other words, when someone is doing well, you feel sorrow and distress because of that. Let us ask ourselves, how do we react to the good news of our friends and our neighbors? How do we react when we see that other people are doing well in their lives, in their careers? Does the fact that others are doing well make us happy or sad? Are we grateful or envious at their achievement? A priest once uh, said that when we begin to compare ourselves with others, we become unhappy. When we compare ourselves with others, instead of thanking God for whatever gifts we have, we begin entitled to things we have and begin to complain to God for the things that we do not have. Instead of being envious, we need to be grateful for the success, achievement, and fortune of others. Let us support one another. Let us be thankful to God for giving us many talented friends and neighbors in our lives. Amen.